beautiful people and welcome back to my channel today i have another commentary for you guys on the amazing anime my hero academia now this episode is called fighting fate episode 67 now this episode gets really deep so i hope you're ready so let's get straight into it. Azuku's mind is swirling with feelings from his work study. So he goes and talks to All Might about it and learns about All Might's fate. So he learns a lot in this episode and towards the end, all of you will be devastated. So the episode begins with Midoriya pondering on the broken relationship between All Might and Night Eye when unexpectedly a young girl fearfully bumps into Deku aka Midoriya if you don't know. Soon after a figure in the shadows of the alleyway appears and to the viewer's surprise it's Overhaul. Mirio and Overhaul casually have a conversation trying to keep things cordial yet Midoriya is starting to make things suspicious. One thing about Overhaul is that he's clever with his words and actions. So he convinces Midoriya and Mirio to follow him into the alley to explain their relationship further between his so-called daughter's behavior, which I found it silly of them to follow Overhaul, but at the same time, I know they had a plan as well in their head. So I thought it was interesting when Overhaul smoothly tries to remove his glove, the young girl immediately reacts and swiftly detaches herself from Midoriya and quickly runs to Overhaul's side. With great concern and anger, Midoriya wanted to go after her, but Mirio knew it would be the wrong move to make. They immediately contact Sir Night Eye with the unexpected encounter and mention that Overall has a daughter. Sir Night Eye once again disapproves of Midoriya's ignorance of thinking he can save anyone he wants by purely having good intentions. He states that it takes more than that to save the world. After the stressful encounter Midoriya and Mirio had with Overhaul, it intensely affected Midoriya and it affected his daily life at school. He knew that he must speak to All Might so he can understand the factors that are currently occurring in his life. He needs to know the truth. Why didn't All Might warn him of Sir Night Eyes? true feelings about all for one and how he disagrees about who he gave it to. Midoriya finally finds All Might and demands to know everything about the truth and he needs to know the truth. All Might is unsure of telling Midoriya everything but he explains the development of Sir Night Eye's relationship and how they became associated with each other. Sir Night Eye was the brains behind the operation. And when All Might became injured six years ago, things began to crumble. They shared two different visions for the end state of All Might's career. All Might wanted to continue until he found a worthy successor. And Sir Night Eye thought it was best he retired and leave the league a legend. Additionally, Sir Night Eye refused to support All Might if he continued with his career and he reveals an unfortunate foresight that All Might will die by fighting a gruesome villain. But in hindsight, I find it a little crazy that Sir Night Eye disapproves of Midoriya, yet He's secretly training Mirio to become the number one hero, even though All Might already picked a successor. So Sir Night Eye believes 
already that Midoriya is going to fail as the number one hero. Yet, all I can say is that the creator of this anime really knows how to portray emotions pretty well throughout the characters. Because one minute you're sad because All Might's gonna die, and the next you're rejuvenated and excited and hopeful for the future between Midoriya and All Might. And in the last moment, Midoriya pleads with All Might to stay alive long enough to see him announce to the world that he is here, that he is the next number one hero. And All Might lets Midoriya know he will live on and won't let anyone stop him because he's been changed by the young Midoriya which Midoriya refuses to let nothing get in the way of him fighting the fate of All Might's dreadful future. So towards the end, you get a very compassionate and emotion-packed moment between these two. And you can't help to have hope for the future of All Might. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this overview of episode 67 of My Hero Academia, Fighting Fate. If you're new here and you enjoy my content, please subscribe for more videos like this one. Until next time, guys. Bye.